Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Night's Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to be getting back to Hot Toys unboxing and review videos. But instead of 1 6 scale, we're going back to the quarter scale and this is the Joker QS010. Now before we get going, I want to invite you to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. Also, I do live streams on Monday nights at 8.30 Central. Uh, definitely come join and be a part of the conversation. It's a lot of fun and would love to see you there. Taking a look at the Joker itself, this is a huge box. You might remember my last quarter scale review on the Dark Knight Rises Batman. Um, but here we have the Joker. I've heard this is kind of a mixed bag and I wasn't going to get it for the longest time. But I did find a deal on eBay that I just couldn't pass up. So I figured, what the heck, let's give it a shot. It's quarter scale. Um, hopefully we like it. But um, taking a look at the box itself, it's not my favorite design of box that Hot Toys has done. I don't like the fragile flaps on the sides that you have to kind of pop open and then slide it out. It's... Um, it's a little bit difficult to pop open and especially without like ripping it. Mine already has a kind of the start of a rip here. I do like the front and how the um, the the Joker face itself is kind of raised. It's kind of like a 3D effect and then this cool one quarter scale um, logo here at the bottom. I do like that a lot. I like the color design with the purple and the green going on and um, this is a sideshow exclusive and then on the back it does have the creators and the warnings as well. So let's flip this down without bumping the table too much because I know I'm going to be shaking my camera up top. But you can get a nice look. You can just see how massive this box is and um, just trying to open it up here. Again, we have the flap that opens and then you kind of have to push it here and slide it out and it, there we go. But uh, it doesn't like to always slide out the most easiest so um, setting this down we have a nice kind of cigar band wrap here that just says the Joker it's got a nice card here I do like the design here um, we can kind of take that off and open the top and we get our first glimpse of the Joker don't mind this mine was used and he did smell like smoke so I did put some air freshener type things in there to try to absorb the smoke smell so I've left it in here for about a week we'll see if that's helped but just our first look at the Joker, and then we also have um, the second head sculpt. So we're going to do this a little bit different than the normal. I'm not going to go through each and every uh, design here, but I'll just kind of glance over all the accessories it comes with, and then we're going to just kind of look at the figure itself. And taking a look just really quick at the accessories here, hopefully you can kind of see them all on screen. We have the base down here, and <clears throat> an extra vest, which I'm not sure why, his shotgun, his pistol, his machine gun, the cool clown mask, a revolver, the bomb detonator, he's got the shoe daggers, his pencil, his knife, a pipe, money, joker cards, and the bombs for the suit. Taking a look at the base, we do have uh, a nice bat logo here with kind of the joker smile and um, just ha 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 kind of etched all into it. It's a uh, decent sized base, obviously Hot Toys is going more towards diorama bases now, which I'm really excited about because these just don't really cut it for me. Um, we do have a nice metal nameplate on the front with the bat, the Dark Knight logo, and it says the Joker. And then why so serious and laughing, ha ha ha's kind of on the side. I think this makes it look a little tacky. I don't really like it. Um, I wish you could remove them, but I think they are glued in there. So that's, uh, I think it just looks toyish and kind of cheapens the figure a little bit. So I'm not a big fan of that, but I won't be using this in my display. So it's not a big deal. And here we have the figure kind of straight out of the box. He's not in any poses or anything like that. And uh, you can get a good look at him. The head sculpt is not a 10 out of 10, definitely, um, but it does look pretty decent. The sculpted hair looks okay. Um, obviously Hot Toys I think has improved a lot even since this figure has come out. The tailoring on the outfit looks really good on the coat. I do wish the coat had a little bit more weathering going on. It's too clean, um, but it does uh, fit the Joker very nicely. And it does have actually these little magnets to help keep the flaps down. So that's really nice touch. I think the paint application on the head sculpt itself is a little too soft. 
there's just not enough texture and imperfections I guess it's just you know you got the black around the eyes and it's just almost too perfect I guess I wish it would have been um, a little bit better I think the head sculpt is like a seven and a half out of ten maybe um, again the, the hair here kind of throws me off a little bit too just uh, I don't know it's just kind of like a weird swirl on the uh, on the top of the head itself but Again, other than that, it's not too bad. He does kind of have the eyes looking up just a little bit, so if you tip the head forward, just kind of a more menacing look that you can give him. He does have um, the the bomb holders here, so you can have him posing without the coat, which is something the DX11 didn't have, so this is a, a nice thing to have here. And then you have the vests underneath as well, and they do have real buttons, and he does have the one button undone, just uh, like the movie itself, so that is screen accurate. Ooh, and mine does have some dirty stuff going on here, but uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I can get that clean. He is kind of on a on a ratcheted joint for the legs and the uh, the arms. You can hear that. He does have the socks, which is a nice touch, and the shoelaces are real uh, type of lace here. And uh, the shoe is like a fabric; it's not going to be a sculpt. So you know, very. Very good attention to detail there. Um, just kind of looking at the back again, here is the back of the Joker itself. Um, so first impressions are pretty good. I just do wish that the uh, the head sculpt was a little bit better and the coat was a little bit more weathered because it just didn't look this perfect in the movie. Taking a look at the extra head sculpt here, I'm not sure what Hot Toys was, the goal was here. Uh, if they were going for more of like a Heath Ledger tribute because um, he's kind of just missing the paint here and I, I don't know, it's it's the same exact head sculpt, just the paint application is a little bit different. So, I mean, half of the face is exactly the same, and then this is just a little bit different with the makeup missing. Um, the hair is exactly the same. So, I mean, it, it's, I guess it's a cool variant, but I would have liked a different expression on the face. So, again, just kind of hot toys. It seems like they just kind of glazed over the most important part, which to me, is the head sculpt. It's not terrible by any means, but it definitely could have been a lot better. He does seem to stand on his own pretty easily. Hey, and then he tips over like that. Uh, no, but he does He does stand pretty good here, um, so I don't think you have to worry about that. Um, the ankles seem pretty strong. Again, things are going to be on ratchets. But posability is going to be fine. He's all fabric, so you're going to be able to kind of pose him how you want. Um, seems to be pretty pretty decent there it does have good crunch even just that look at that ratchet crunch so that's nice too um, so let's without further ado get this guy into some poses talk about the things that I like and dislike about the figure all right guys so now that we've kind of looked at the figure let's get him into some cool poses for you and talk about some of the things that I like and some of the things not so much starting with the things that I really like about this figure the first would be the posability, the ratcheted joints. This thing uh, is really, really nice, and being that it's quarter scale, you're going to be able to get it into a lot more dynamic poses. It's going to pose easier. The um, Just the quality is better because it is a bigger figure, so um, the hands peg on a lot easier. They pull off a lot easier. You don't have to worry about the pegs coming out with it. So um, just stuff like that. He was a lot of fun to pose. The second thing that I really like about the figure is all of the accessories that he comes with. If you thought the DX11 came with a lot of accessories, you're right. But this one does too. And he comes with a ton of money, a ton of Joker cards that you can kind of use to scatter onto the base. Um, he comes with the bomb detonator, something that the DX11 didn't have. A bunch of weapons and uh, even those shoe daggers. And the third thing that I like is just the fact that this guy is quarter scale. I am really becoming fond of quarter scale figures and it's dangerous dangerous territory um, but the fact that i got this guy under retail it really wasn't that much of a hit he can be had at a decent price now for some things that i didn't like as much the first would be and i said earlier that he stood pretty well but the more i got him into poses and the more i kind of futzed with him the more i found out that the ankles are super weak and he likes to teeter forward and and topple over so as much as I didn't want to use the base um, to pose this guy, I kind of had to. And that brings me to the second thing that I didn't like about this, and that was the base itself. I really wish Hot Toys would have used more of a diorama base. You've seen all these cool statues 
come in lately and you just see that the base is really incorporated into the scene and I wish Hot Toys did that here. I think they're going to start doing that more in the future, but I wish they did that here and I also wish that all of the ha ha ha's could be removed from the base itself. And the, uh, the crotch grabber doesn't really get up as high as it needs to be to really hold the figure in place, so you have to be careful there. I wish it came with a waist grabber as much as I don't like those. Um, I think it would have suited this figure a little bit better. And the third thing that I didn't like as much was the detail on the head sculpt as well as Hot Toys not taking a risk with the second head sculpt. It's the same exact sculpt, just a little bit different of a paint job. I thought they could have done a different expression. Um, you know, and then the the main head sculpt itself. It looks good. Don't get me wrong I enjoy it. And I think it looks good, but I've seen better head sculpts out there when you're getting in the quarter scale You would think that the the detail and everything would get you know better and better and better and this guy I think Hot Toys just missed the mark a little bit So I'd give the head sculpt a 7.5 out of 10 overall guys This figure is a lot of fun to play with to pose to you know get all the accessories into a scene. It is a lot of fun and I really, really enjoy it. Um, I actually wound up selling my DX11, so this guy's gonna hold me over until the Queen Studios Joker comes out, hopefully in quarter four. But yes, if you can get this guy for under retail, I say go for it, he's worth it. And there are a lot of people out there selling him. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know if this is a figure that you would entertain purchasing. Uh, I know quarter scale can be kind of hard to fit into the collection, but man, on their own, they look amazing. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, just keep that to yourself. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.